This might be a little fucked. <laughs> Whoops. What happened? Axel. Uh. Oh. <laughs> What is up guys and welcome back and today we actually have the fucking Subi in the garage which means it's finally getting something done to it. Now despite you know us doing the exhaust that was the only thing that we've done to this car so far besides the uh, idling head unit which I don't think I actually showed you guys but I have this idling head unit in this car but uh, regardless those are the only things I've done to this car so far so it is time for this car to get a full makeover and that's basically what we are doing today so right now we have the first of two packages that are coming in the mail and uh i decided i'm just going to jump on it and just put these on first and then once the other half of this equation gets brought into the mail then we'll just go ahead and throw those on today we are doing these bc racing ds coilovers this is the extreme low package on the bc ds's now the reason I went with the DS's over the BR's is mostly just because I wanted something a little bit nicer. And that's just because I've ridden in cars that have the BC BR's and it's a very comfy ride, but I want something that's a little bit more like track oriented for this car, just because I want it to feel like, I want it to feel nice, I want it to feel crazy. I, basically I want the suspension to kind of give me a similar feeling that I had in the Evo which that car had the Titan Monosport coilovers, which are like, they're pretty expensive coilovers. Those were really nice on that car, but uh, I couldn't find those for this car. So I'm running the BCDSs. Anyways, I'm going to go grab some bell breakfast and then we're going to come back and knock this project out. Chill, bro. All right, wheels are off. We just got to fucking pop off the steering knuckle. And we got three bolts on top. Pretty sure those are 13s, but down here, they're 19 millimeters. This looks like fun. <laughs> it's an old one. Okay. These don't want to just come out. I guess they're... Beats. That's where it's going to get interesting. So, I put my nut on this, this side so I don't damage the, the actual bolt. And then we're just going to smack it. So it comes out the other side. And then again at the bottom. Doesn't require too much convincing, but just enough to get it through. Oh, I thought it was gonna take more convincing. Nah. Oh. Now the reason why I needed that much convincing, this top bolt is a camber bolt. If you care about your alignment, then uh, you're gonna wanna mark it and keep it where you put it. <laughs> so that way when you put it back in, it's gonna line back up exactly how they had it. Uh, I'm not too sure if this car has had an alignment in a while, so I'm gonna just fucking do it anyways, which you should after you do coilovers anyways. So I would say just pop it out, put it back in any way you want. And then once you actually go to get an alignment, then have them do that. But uh, for today's purposes, I do not care. So it's just gonna fucking <clears throat> pop out how it wants to with that steering knuckle out of the way. Now we just gotta get the bolts in the top and then this coilover is gonna be free. Pretty standard practice, 13 millimeter. Undo them, but not all the way. You hold it from the bottom, undo these top bolts, top nuts. Shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit, it's getting heavy. You got a big one, mate. Something like it. Uh, at least I'm not straddling my car this time. <laughs> you see where that nut went? Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. If all goes well, should be able to just Pull her out, and that's a strike. Yes, sir. So, pretty self-explanatory. 
pops out. And then now we get to go look at the new one. All right. Let's take a gander at these things. Custom coil overs. I didn't know I was that special. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Did you not cut that? I didn't see that on there until just now. Custom coil overs. Ah, shit. Sure enough. Custom build. Coilover type DSs, extreme low, BC standard, standard spring rate. Yep, it's got all that. Instructions, anything else you need, warranty, stickers. I don't need any of that right now at this current moment, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the pack here, grab what I do need. Whoa, that's a rear coil over. That looks beautiful. Dude, honestly, should we just throw them in how they have it set up? It already looks crazy different. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like crazy lower anyways. Well, this is the rear. <clears throat> what is the, what does the front one look like? I don't know. I mean, I think I was grabbing the front one. No, that, that one looks like it. You got the burrito on top. Yeah. Just put them on exactly how they are. Yeah, yeah, I was say, but they put that bitch low, low key. Yeah, spring rate's already set, so. Maybe don't adjust Damn. them. Damn. That bitch is low. <laughs> Left. There it is. L. Instructions. Nah, fuck it. We don't need that shit. I don't know what that shit is. Or instructions. Just gonna feed it up. You need me to put the nuts on there? Or the, yeah, the nuts on? It looks like the orientation rate. Okay. There's only one way they can go on. So I guess we'll see. That, yeah, that looks right. That actually looks fucking correct. Let's see, now we just gotta put the nuts on top. Yeah. Stole my bolt. Solid. Solid. Ooh. Gonna do like, you know, like I was told, and just put it in. Let's see if I need a jack. Yeah, I was about to ask, are we gonna need the jack for this or? It's possible. You got might, that strength. I might have the fucking man strength for it though. You got the strengths? I might. Mm, fuck. Just lift it up. What have you done here? Drop the fucking steering knuckle on that side. We might be able to lift this head up. There we go. Lined up. Yes, uh. What? Almost. I was about to say first try, just slid that shit in. Enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah granted, it was definitely fucking. Never mind. <laughs> it was definitely enough. Yep. Just remember to put the washer on there. That should do. Peak meal performance. This might be a little fucked. <laughs> Whoops. What happened? Axel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Another one. There we go. How's it looking? See a little hole. Uh, I punctured it. Well, wouldn't be doing coilovers if I didn't fucking break an axle. Yep. Do it every time. 
another axle. The front's done. My lucky day. Hey! The fuck? Is <laughs> power torque sockets? Steering knuckle. Now what size is this? Fifteen. This one says R. So rear and rear. <laughs> rear and rear. Rear and rear. Whoa. I wonder what they have it set to. Like on the stiffness? Should I just rock whatever stiffness they've set it at? Yeah. yeah. I just wanna, I'm kind of interested in seeing what BC has in mind for my car. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need your help for this. Hmm? Yeah. I'm just gonna have to put these nuts on top. Oh, okay. Once I speed it through. What? You can't put your... <laughs> you can't reach over, man? I can't reach through a quarter panel, man. <laughs> the fuck? You're I like that you think I'm that skilled. You're supposed to be able to do all of this, man. I fucking wish. <laughs> that would be dope. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, you're good. So, 
good rule of thumb for pretty much everything on the, the suspension on these cars. Uh, you just want to work both sides at the same time. So if you're doing the fronts, you kind of, it's going to go a lot easier if you take out both struts and then put in, you know, one coil over and then go into the other side and then put in the top of that, the second coil over and then just kind of like line up the steering knuckles. And then once you jack up one side, it'll jack up the other side. So kind of, same kind of goes for the rear. If you just work both sides at the same time, you're not going to fight it. And if you kind of just, you know, if you're just patient with it, everything will go smoothly. And, uh, yeah, so just just take off what you need and everything will go pretty much as easy as cake. But uh, if you kind of try to get by with just undoing just the bottom bolts on these and trying to pull it out, you're gonna be sitting there fighting it for a long time. You're not really gonna go anywhere. So you're gonna wanna take off all three of these and possibly even loosen that back one for even more room if you need to. I didn't need to, I was able to bend it just enough. But yeah, it's just, you know, Easiest way to just get things done on these cars is just be patient. Take your time, un unbolts whatever might be in your way, even if it's not completely in your way, and everything should go smoothly. So now we're just in the last steps, bolting everything back up, and then we'll get the car on the ground. <laughs> oh my God. What the fuck was that? That was supposed to be a sheesh! Goddamn. Fucking look at that, dude. Fucking. Boop. <laughs> yeah, once I put wheels on this, it'll look so much better. Yeah. The fronts are pretty fucking low. You're gonna have to adjust the fronts, though. I might have to that. raise up the fronts a little bit. But. It's looking quite nice. All right, so it's been about a week since we put on the coilovers, and uh, that's basically where the video got left off was just me saying I need to adjust them. But uh, basically, I like rose them up just a touch on the front, and I didn't even touch the backs. But uh, here today, we actually have received our wheels. Well, sitting pretty right here, so these are. The Anovia Canos, they're non-directional from Anovias, which big fan of. And then these are these are 265, 35, 18s. So we got some pretty beefy boys to go on this this car here. But the thing is, is that the wheels poke out a little bit, and that's exactly how I wanted the fitment. I wanted to give the car a little bit of that bulldog stance, that kind of, you know, like the wheels just kind of poke out. So in order to kind of achieve that stance without too many complications, we are going to have to raise the car up a little bit. And I think we're just gonna have to kind of dial it in. I'm planning on just having the fender sit directly above the wheel with no camber. And it's just gonna be completely like balanced out. So that's pretty much just what we're going for right here. Okay, so after a little bit of adjusting and kind of going back and forth with it, I finally got it where it's gonna sit pretty much forever. Uh, honestly, I'm pretty happy with the height. It's not too low, it's not too high. And uh, it is perfect where the wheels aren't gonna rub just because they do poke out quite a bit. So with this kind of bulldog stance I'm going for, I was not trying to really overcomplicate things, but I pretty much have it sitting as comfortably as I could get it. And hopefully that should stop the rubbing. Now, uh, I'd imagine it's probably still going to rub when I have like a full car of people, but you know, for the majority of the time I'm driving by myself. So very rarely do I have passengers. So I'm not too worried about rubbing. If it's not rubbing when I'm in the car, then I'm fine with that. And if it just rubs a little bit when I have people in the car, then that's perfect. I think they killed it with a non-directional look. I, I, that was my biggest problem with the Novia wheels was that the, they were all directional and you didn't get like any other options past that. So finally they come out with some of these non-directional wheels and they look Mm, they're good. They look amazing. So very, very overall happy with the, the look of this car right now. So yeah, I think this, we're going to leave it off. This is the Subi's complete makeover and, uh, it's honestly looking better than it ever has. So I'm just going to leave it off right here. You guys have a good one.